I will not be slandered! General, you saw my reports. You know it's not my fault. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. If I had been given drow warriors instead of goblin trash! Oi! What? You scrag! Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. Let me make sure I understand this. You're claiming that General Thorm gave you the wrong soldiers. Yes. No! You blame the Absolutes chosen for your failure. Of course it is not the General's fault. Whose then? Zarel's mind is a steel trap, but you cautiously ease your way in. You just need to shift her focus a little. I'm being unkind. Anyone might have struggled with such imperfect tools. Goblins are prone to failure. Yes. It's the goblins' fault. They failed you, General. Not me. General? Take Minthara below. Someone will have to consider her fate. No! Please! Mercy! Please! Ha! <laughs> Bye-bye, princess. And the goblins, General. You, true soul. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies. Isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. the absolute faith without action is anemic sickly in a word useless we are too close to the ending and the new beginning i can coddle failure no longer kill them quickly what no you creaking old bag of shit I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, let us take advantage of our surprising guest and their particular creative genius. I'm sure the results will send a clear message to the troops on the importance of discipline. Of course, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. They are yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I care. Just deal with them. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done.
please. You gotta help me. For old time's sake. No. Please. Let's go see Zarel. In another lifetime, your disgrace has something to do here. The seat of the Absolute's power. Occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn more about his power. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. A pool of warmth spreads through your mind as she settles on the memory of you commanding the goblins to die. Oh, I like you. That was inventive and efficient. Plenty. But I hoped someone of your talents would be more ambitious. You came here to answer the Absolute's call. Let's see what you're made of. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. There is a tremor of shared ecstasy as she finds a mirror to her own desire. Perfect. You crave what all true souls should, to be touched by the Absolute. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorn. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can, and bring the relic home. Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. It is something that General Thorm desires, and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. She's suddenly nervous, on edge. Talking about the relic makes her anxious. I don't get anxious, I get impatient. You have your mission. And I accompanied him. It was destroyed shortly after he left Moonrise. Hardly a surprise. We're protected here, but outside the shadows are hungry. 
The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You will need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. It is not your time yet, blessed one. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation. Save for those he chooses to ascend. This must be the place. We have to get inside. You are already changed, true soul. Hearing her voice is what brought you here. But above, you will stand in her very presence. Such an honor requires more. Disciples Rel has given you a chance to earn that honor. Her design does not end at the grave, blessed one. You will serve, whether you ascend or fall, and I find use for even the fallen. I hope that is some comfort to you. I have felt you coming. The first in a century. You who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal. Let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude, until of course your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. My mistress's will, my life's purpose. If I have to step over your corpse to fulfill what Lady Shah asks of me, so be it. Your choice. Well, well, well. Do you know what did you say? Much has been promised to you. I Whatever you think you know of me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. I Not what will happen. What will you lay a hand on me? Our Lady of Silver. Here I am resplendent. You have given me a great gift, little warrior. Don't you find it oh so curious that you would spurn your dark lady? Perhaps you feel a staring of the truth already. But that will come later. You have done what we feared was... Your power is great. Are you ready? Wig. We need to leave. Lady Shah won't stand for us to be here, not after what we did. I'm not sure there's a place that's far enough away for me to go. Let's get out of here. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. 
We'd better get there and see what she's unleashed against Catherick Thorn. Chosen, Shadowheart. Unshackled from shadows, she will rise in moonlit glory and carve a path of brightness to the accursed one's second death. So saith the wise Alondo. That beacon of angelic wrath has taken the fight to Catherick on the rooftop. In the first line of defense, are dead. But storming the tower won't be easy. And if we wait too long, Catherick will gather his strength and retaliate. For now, though, he's on the back foot for the first time since he returned from the grave. This is it. The spearhead moment. You brought us this far. So how shall we proceed? A sound strategy. Once it's done, me and my Harpers will hold the ground floor while you hunt down the General himself. Floric left some of her flaming fist. They'll scout the prisons and the barracks below to ensure we're not taken by surprise. Say the word, and we're off. I'm touched. But I'm already spoken for. Godspeed. You seem to be their chosen champion after all, against the false absolute. At the ready, Harpers! In this light, there will be victory. In this light, we will avenge the fallen! <sighs> the time has come. Gather equal taste of death at last. You dare show yourself here after all you've done? You have betrayed me. You have betrayed General Thorm. You have betrayed our God! And for what? These Harpers. Moonrise will be their tomb. And in death, you will all serve the Absolute. You hid it well. I thought you'd be another notch on my bedpost. But instead, I'll make a trophy of your bones. Boys, make this traitor bleed. There's a parasite in that corpse, Let's brimming with potent on. magic. Not until we put Catherick down. Not as bad as it could have. As long as we hold this floor, the tower is ours. I'll stay here. Ensure no one comes up or down without a scimitar welcome. You're close now. A final audience with Ketherick Thorm awaits. Ha! <laughs> Keen eye. I suppose I could be persuaded. Fair enough. The time has come. Ketherick will taste of death at last. You. 
What have you done? What have you done to me? There is no redemption, can't you see? It is too late. If Melodia could see all I've done, she'd know. She'd know her husband died long ago with Isabel. Unlike Isabel, he could not be brought back. I wish it could be so. I do. But the Moon Maiden did not intervene when my life was dismantled piece by piece. And when I tried to buy it back, it cost me everything. <sighs> everything. We are copper pieces in their belts. Tokens to be traded for scraps. You have beaten me, true soul. But the gods beat me first. you dog. Retribution has come, and her sword is my sword. Ha! Ketherick Thorne would sooner die than lay down his rank cause. Isn't that right, General? I was a fool to hesitate. Power like mine cannot be hidden, cannot be cowed. But power like mine has a price. A price I am destined to pay. You have one last chance to bow. Once it's gone, I'll have no choice but to destroy you both. Do you hear? Bow! Prism. You've had it all this time, you worm. You will bow before me. And if you will not bow, you will break. He will crumble at the power of your touch. Give him all you have. The gods fight at our side! My lord beckons me. You must return to your prison, and my daughter must be reclaimed. Your daughter? Isabel. The general will call that a tactical retreat, I'm sure. But you have him on the run. That thing he summoned was illicit. Follow it below and find him, before he has a chance to subdue the Night Song again. Better they stay here, and hold the tower should Ketherick's army catch wind of our assault. But if you have room for one lone soldier, I would face Ketherick by your side. Theory and supposition, none of which will help us in the fight to come. Ketherick must die, and the Absolute with him. We will work out the details as they rear their ugly heads. 
If our luck holds, they won't need to. If it doesn't, well, they are Harpers. Being outnumbered is part of the job. But the sooner we reach Catherick and rob his army of their reason to fight, the better. You have numbers enough already, I think. You'll want a sp I'll be- My dogs are barking. Can we rest? The hole yawns back at you, impossibly wide. A single tentacle burrowed through stone. This is an illithid colony. This must be where they harvest the tadpoles. We're close to the source of the infections. murmur the presence in your mind builds to a roar we've found it the absolute is behind this door you said it was under control it isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker! Gortash! Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Border's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Bane! Testament of Merkel! An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard. The Absolute. Helm preserve us. You wag your word flap in vain, olderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Uh. 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 
shit. No! Father! Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. Predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Finer champions than you have tried and failed. But perhaps they lacked the fear that drives you. Your freedom hanging in the balance. Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. With pleasure. Kill me. I am eternal. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours.
Well, fuck. You saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? I'd never have protected a Bainite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast! He has to die! And I'm gonna be the one who kills him! He can't get away with what he's done... ...to me... ...to us. He won't get away with it. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the Gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. Orin, I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash, I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Worm's Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. I will never tire of sitting on dead men's thrones. Yes. Although I wish we had collaborated on the killing itself. But I will satisfy my war lust soon, for there are greater challenges than Ketherick ahead of us. It is clear now that he was not working alone. During my time in the cult, I came to know one of his co-conspirators all too well. Baal's bloodletter, Orin. To think, I thought her to be speaking for the Absolute. I worshipped that woman. Jealous? You needn't be. When Orin is in my hands, her agony will nourish me. She is the Iblis who indoctrinated me with the Absolute's lies. When I first visited Moonrise, I stood before the Absolute in awe. It was more of an idea than an entity. Pure love. Total power. Orin was by my side. She told me that God had chosen me to be a true soul. Blessed and adored. Now I know that those memories are lies. There was no God. Orin held me down 
in a cocoon of flesh, while a mind flayer forced a parasite into my brain. And she laughed at my fear. I will find her. I will murder her. And I will smile. Let them think that. There is a short path from savior to ruler. A short and bloody path. I know it well, and we will walk it together. But Baldur's Gate is a mere bauble. We have the chance to see something much greater. Surely you see it. In killing Catherick, we fractured the cult's leadership. When we break the other Chosen and claim their Netherstones, we can take control. Madness would be to let the Absolute's potential go to waste. The power of the enslaved Elder Brain could reshape the world. We could reshape the world. There is violence in your future, regardless. With me, you can at least be sure the violence will lead to glory. You are not stupid. When we reach Baldur's Gate and face the other Chosen, you will see that my way is the right one. The Elder Brain is the only thing that has ever managed to change my mind. You're welcome to try. We are bound, then, to travel together, even if we do not yet agree on our ultimate purpose. There is yet one thing about you that troubles me, though. Something I need you to explain. Why come to Moonrise, where the cult's power is strongest? Why not walk away? Good. That is as it should be. Now, I am ready to leave this damned place whenever you give the word. The city awaits! Your party is full. Did you think I would not notice? enemies spread like rub rot. Treat one patch, and two more bloom in its place. An elder brain, bound by lost Netherese magic, with servants of the dead three holding the chain. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. Aren't you? It is good to savor the moment of victory. But pace yourself. Our fight is just beginning. When we met, I was licking my wounds. An old bear with her leg caught in the hunter's snare. Now I've slipped free of the trap and rediscovered my claws. It's time for me to hunt my prey. You have a nether stone, and you're on the scent of two more. These chosen have reason to fear you, and I would like to be at your side when you confront them. Glad to be there. Falling foul of Catherick convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me. That even if I survived, I should hang up my blades. But you convinced me otherwise. We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed. When we reach Baldur's Gate, there will be even darker paths to tread. I will follow you wherever they lead.
How does it compare to a shadow cursed in? With the Absolute's army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentalon's Dancing X. We do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. Find me at your camp, huh? I can remember how to take orders, as well as give them. Daniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly, now that Oliver has returned to him. I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday, see Thaniel and Oliver again. In my meditations, or... Perhaps in person, if the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway. Once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. Not what? Who? But all in due course. Wish we could stay and see what this place will be like without the shadows. I bet it's beautiful. No rest for the wicked, huh? He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid, brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work, guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. Seemed like easy money, so I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I liked that. Not like that, you know. Just, it felt like a good fit. I kept him safe and he paid me well. Well enough to move into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future. My future. I respected him, trusted him. And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in Avernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed, said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine. And he said I'd be able to handle it. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil, evil bastard. Thy hunger denied. Saluna's faithful yet shines. The balance shifts. Thou hast seen with thine own eyes, and felt in thine urges. The dead three unite. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls?
Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally cold. I shall ask yet again, do illithids possess souls? No. Nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, O oh, tempted one? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. I'm here. And... and so are you. And my father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. That somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Ah, oh, there you are. This is Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? We look forward to it. Now, you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. When Duke Elton formed the Flaming Fist, he saw out people of courage and honor to fill its ranks. You saved Daniel, lifted the curse, and killed an immortal. It's safe to say you'd have been recruited in an instant. Of course, I have no idea what life is like under Duke Ravengard's rule, but I've seen the respect he inspires in the Flaming Fist, and that tells me all I need about him as a leader. I hope you can save Duke Ravengard for the good of Baldur's Gate. Thank you, but look at me. I am a relic, a glimpse of history barely strong enough to stand on his own two feet. Besides, Nathaniel should have someone here when he wakes up. It's the least I can do. You don't have to worry about me. The truth is, the Shadowfell broke something inside me. 
Something no healer can fix. I don't know how long I have, but because of you, Thaniel is safe. Because of you, I could help him as he helped me. So, thank you, my friend. And know that I have no regrets. You. You did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead. And they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. Halsin's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all.